In sub-Saharan Africa, where lightning strikes more than anywhere on the planet, the greater threats to its people are on the ground and man-made. Human rights abuses and brutality carried out by armed rebel groups financing their revolutions with profits from mining. The place is the DRC, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's ground zero for conflict minerals, so branded because they are sought and sold under a cloud of extortion, taxation, intimidation, and physical violence. The people of Eastern Congo are living in one of the world's most resource-rich areas. Many competing armed groups are controlling the mineral wealth, they're controlling the transit of the minerals with the use of mass-scale atrocities. Conflict minerals are essential to making consumer electronics. Gold, tin, tungsten, and tantalum. Ingredients and devices from video game consoles to laptops and mobile phones. The suffering linked to conflict minerals can be hard to look at, but there is an intensifying movement to help the people who are exploited. Corporations and nonprofit organizations are succeeding in tracking conflict minerals leaving the DRC to keep them out of consumer devices and to improve the wages and lives of miners. For several years, Intel has actively traced the sources of raw materials in its supply chain to eliminate conflict minerals and validate smelting operations worldwide. A lot of the groundwork that made it seem insurmountable in the beginning has been done by Intel and a few other companies. So our encouragement to others is get started now. We can affect change that way. The first conflict-free mine, the miners' wages doubled. At another conflict-free mine, they just negotiated the army to get out of the mine. From the point two years ago, armed groups are now getting 50% less money. Now what you have is some of these groups' funds slowly being cut off, and so they don't have the ability to uh, extort the people like they have in the past. I'm excited to announce that every Intel microprocessor we manufacture in 2014 will be conflict-free. It's just a start, but a big change. The tracking of conflict minerals by Intel is drawing others to the cause. They're still sourcing from the region, but they're doing it via bag and tag, chain of custody, responsible sourcing, and that's exactly the desired result we want. The more transformation we see, the better it's gonna be for, for Congo and actually help enable peace. The ideal is to one day validate all smelters to make sure they are responsibly sourcing their ingredients. No conflict minerals, no human rights abuses. Intel sees it as a moral imperative. It is the humane, compassionate lead to take. Consumers are really the backbone of actually helping change this situation. The more they uh, uh, raise awareness, that drives companies to, to change.